The world isn't perfect. Daily in our headlines, we're reminded of the disease and violence that continue to plague our world. Yet even in this season of cold and dark and snow, we can remember that life continues and moves towards better things. Beneath the ice and snow of the frozen river behind me, there is still water that flows, if only at a trickle. And even in these trees that look barren and dead, there is still sap flowing and giving life, perhaps allowing us to have some delicious maple syrup sometimes. The Torah teaches in our Parsha this week about the institution of slavery for the Hebrew slave. And some commentators ask, a Hebrew slave? Didn't we just finish telling the story of the Israelite escape from slavery in Egypt? How can we say that one Israelite might take another as a slave? And yet we see here in the Torah a balance between the understanding of a reality of a harsh and unforgiving world in which at those times and even sometimes today and ours, harsh, terrible institutions like slavery still exist, balanced with an image of redemption and a story of God saving the people from slavery in which a better world might exist, continuing to give us hope. And so as the light grows a bit longer each day in this season, and as we remember the water that continues to flow under the ice, let's remember that where there is darkness and cold, there is also always light and warmth. Shabbat Shalom.